Hello and welcome to my garden tour. So here we are on the lower patio. We have a collection of acers. This acer is actually, it's a beautiful red acer, is actually probably 15 years old. It's in a beautiful kind of mushroom shape and we love it a lot. We have a new addition here, which is this lovely bay tree. Now the pot is actually um, quite big for it because there was an older bay tree in there before that was quite big, uh, which had to be removed. We have some beautiful swirly trees in pots and some nice summer pansies. Hello and welcome to my garden tour for the virtual RHS Chelsea. Of course, Chelsea Flower Show, unfortunately not going ahead this year. Right, I've just come off the gravel driveway and I'm looking up at this wisteria, which has just come into flower this week and is looking rather splendid, I have to say. Let's just take a look at that beautiful wisteria. The scent is absolutely amazing. There we go. That's really, really beautiful. Um, I'm under a big, a big old acer tree. If we look up. Now here we have a really old, it's originally a hawthorn hedge. Now it's gone partly to privet, but the second half is most definitely hawthorn. Um, here we have a really big, nice weeping tree, which we actually had to crop because um, it was all on the floor and it took up a massive amount of the lawn, but we didn't really want to lose it. So um, we have pruned it and hopefully it still looks fairly natural. We have a patio area over here with some summer fuchsias, which we've just put in the pots. We have a greenhouse, which we'll take a look at in a moment. Now, this is the new part of the Hawthorn hedge. It was planted about five years ago, and it's now quite thick. This is where we keep our bins. It's actually bin day, so the bins are out. But we have a beautiful old lilac bush, which is over here. You can see directly in front. We have a shed. Most typical gardens would have a shed uh, and I have a water butt. I do like to use rainwater um, for my plants. At the minute, if we take a look in, it's quite empty. I've used quite a lot. We've had nice weather, so not a lot of rain. And if you can see, uh, the sun is shining here in the sky. By the way, this garden is situated in Shropshire. So I am in Shropshire in England. Uh, oh, the hose pipe. Of course, you know, most gardens need a hose pipe. This is one that expands, so I do I do use that when we do not have any rain, although it did rain last night. So my meadow actually got a water, which is really, really cool. So over here on this half of the meadow, I actually have some seeds that were sent to me from Canada and they were from the Butchert Gardens. So I have some seeds over there from the Butchert Gardens. Every year I get three packs of seeds from the supermarket and they include ones for bees and um, ones for butterflies and just general meadow seeds. So that's what's happened here. And I put them in some soil and put them on and, and I actually get quite a lot of flowers that come back that have self-seeded. So I sit down here on my patio set and it's really, really nice once it's grown fully to sit and watch the bees and butterflies. It is lovely. I also have this rose, which was planted last year. I actually forget the name of it. Do I have the tag? Um, I may have the tag. Yes, I do. No, I don't. It's broken off. Okay. I forgot the name of the rose, but it was planted as a bare root and it literally grew up the pergola in one year. So that is literally one year's worth of growth. And it looks like it's coming into flower very soon. I have a Princess Diana Clematis here, which I've had for about four years and it keeps coming back every single year. And it's grown in this pot, which this year I have planted some cosmos, some mixed cosmos, which I have grown from seed. We have some bay trees either side of the outbuilding. And I have two pots of hydrangeas. Right, going on to the other patio area down here, obviously a patio area set um, and a box, a storage box. Everyone needs a storage box, but I actually really like to sit on this storage box. Um, and it's a perfect place once the sun is, is over here, just to sit and you're under the shade of a beautiful tree. It's just really, really nice to sit and relax and you can lounge around. 
Um, we have some nice um, tall cypress trees. I think they're called cypress trees, which I planted last year in these beautiful terracotta pots with some ivy. And just recently I put some stones on uh, to help keep the moisture in and keep the weeds out. I have three pots of David Austin roses here, which I planted again last year in the same type of pots, but smaller. It is actually one bare root rose in each pot. And over here we have Anne Boleyn, which is nearly coming into flower. We have William and Catherine here in the middle. And we have Princess Anne, which is already in full bloom. And there are some roses which I can see need dead heading. I also planted this David Austin rose, which I forget the name of, but it has these beautiful kind of apricot flowers once they have bloomed. And I'm growing that up the trellis. So that's all happened within one year as well. Also got a little bit of topiary. We have a nice topiary um, domed domed topiary bush there. Um, another hydrangea, this hydrangea is actually hydrangea limelight. Now, I first learned about hydrangea limelight from the Chelsea Flower Show, probably, I don't know, three, maybe four years ago. And um, Prince Charles, when I watched the Chelsea Flower Show footage, he, he was highlighting this hydrangea limelight. Uh, we have a few more aces around here by the shed. Uh, we have a beautiful old camellia bush. This camellia bush is at least 40 years old. Obviously, it's not looking its best at the moment because the flowers have already happened. In the border, in the mixed border, the bluebells are kind of at, at their end now. Um, but again, we have some roses, which I'll tell you in a moment. We have a beautiful old damson tree. And if we go up these steps, we actually have um, a little bit of storage up here down the top and a secondary water butt. Um, but yeah, we have beautiful damson tree. Over here, we have some more David Austin roses. In a row here, I have Jude the Obscure, um, a nice little bird bath there, which the cats also drink out of. Over here, we have the Mayflower. Now, the Mayflower has already come into flower. I've got a few more David Austin roses here, but I've actually got them mixed up and I've forgotten the names of what they are. At the moment, I'm really loving this time of year, this kind of orange and blue combination. Um, I think it's really, really pretty and it was kind of un unintentional, but it, it, it happened and it works. We have some ferns. Now these ferns have actually self-seeded and I've left them because I think more often than not, if something is self-seeded, then it actually wants to be there. So I've left it. We have some climbers going up the fences um, and going up into the, into the trees at the top. We have a beautiful orange blossom, which again, this time of year when the flowers are out, smells amazing. Another David Austin rose. This one actually is Golden Celebration, which is also one of Princess Alexandra's favorite flowers. Um, I didn't know that until this week. We have a clematis here. Now this clematis is just losing its flowers. It's had flowers all month. And these ones actually smell a little bit like chocolate. When you smell, in fact, I can smell it now. They smell gorgeous. More hydrangeas. Now under the tree, I have a little bit of a, a little bit of a woodland area because it is very, very shady from the tree. These, these boxes, I actually grew from cuttings from boxes, so they need a bit of a trim. But we have, again, some self-seeded ferns, and it's just a bit of a woodland area that I like to just leave to do its own thing. I often think that leaving things to do their own thing is, is the best thing to do. We have a few little gargoyles here. I do have them dotted around the garden. We have a central planter, which I have just potted up, ready for the season. We have some nemesias in the middle. And let's take you into the greenhouse. So going down the steps and through the meadow. Uh, okay, so I have an empty planter here, which I'm gonna fill with some more cosmos and Californian poppies. We have two new pots of roses. Again, these are David Austin. We have the Queen Mother over here. So I've put three in each pot to get a beautiful display. And we have Princess Alexandra over here. Right, going into the greenhouse. So I'm ready. I have my grow bags ready. So because of what's going on in the world right now with COVID-19, um, I didn't know if I was going to get any tomato plants. My mother managed to get one tomato plant. Um, but I've, I've grown my own. So I've grown some tomatoes, which are here. 
and I've grown some cucumbers, which are all ready to prick out and pot on. I've just planted some tumbling tom seeds because I can't get any this year. And I've actually grown some cucamelons. I have no idea what a cucamelon is, a mixture between, I think it's the, the small shape of a melon with maybe the taste of a cucumber, I don't know. Um, I've also grown some geraniums because I was worried I wasn't gonna get any flowers. Californian poppies, still lots to prick out. In fact, in fact I really do need to pick those out. And the last of my cosmos. Uh, the cats, we have lots of cats come in, so I've got an area for cats. This is the basket where the tumbling tom usually go. So hopefully if they grow in time, they'll go there. We have some mixed herbs and I have a beautiful pot of sweet peas there. Uh, I have some Russian giant, some Russian giant sunflower seeds in these pots. So my partner and myself are having a competition. Who's grow first? We have some chili peppers in this pot here. Um, so yeah, I've got some work to do in this greenhouse, getting everything all set up. And I think that just about concludes the garden tour. So if you have enjoyed this garden tour, if you've enjoyed this virtual RHS Chelsea contribution, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also do hit the bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. So from me in Shropshire, by the way, we also have a glorious wind chime, which I do like to listen to. That is a winds, uh, chimes of paradise. That is chimes of paradise and it is gorgeous. So um, I'm gonna leave you with a view of the meadow. So from me in Shropshire, to you all and goodbye.